Yeezy's Jordan moment. So recently, a former Adidas executive sat down for a podcast revealing some interesting details about the Yeezy Adidas partnership. This was the same guy who sat down with Ye for the now infamous final meeting with Adidas. So what's going on everybody, it's J.A. In today's video, we're covering the latest sneaker news and updates. Make sure you guys tap in on the like button. We're gonna kick today's video off with my most highly anticipated release coming from New Balance. So this new colorful take on the 990 V6 did surface a few months back, but now we have a more detailed look at the latest collab from New Balance and Action Bronson. So on this pair, the uppers are generated with a medley of materials and colors such as volt mesh backdrops, brown leather quarter panels, murky olive mudguards, and purple and pink hiking laces. So when I first saw these images, I was instantly drawn towards this model. And it's funny because the 990 V6 is a silhouette that a lot of you guys have recommended for me to check out. So in terms of the colorway here, I felt like this color scheme was giving Yeezy vibes due to the fact that you got a whole bunch of random colors that typically wouldn't go together. But in this case, I feel like they complement each other very well. And in that case, end up meshing together quite well, I must say. So no details on a release date, but expect this pair to be dropping in the next couple of months or so. So coming up this Thursday, February the 9th, we got the new Jown, New Balance 991 UK Gray. So this pair isn't too different than what we've seen from these two parties before. The upper on this sneaker features a dusted gray suede. Its earth tone presentation is then completed with lighter gray mesh underlays sail covered shoestrings in solid black and logos. So besides the minimal jam branding on this pair, I feel like this colorway is fire. And unlike the Action Bronson pair, which is super colorful, this is more on the typical grayscale that New Balance fans love. Now, because this is a collaborative pair with Jown, there is gonna be a little more hype on this release, so these will probably be very difficult to cop, but once again, they're gonna be dropping on the 9th, and then they're gonna have a second release on the New Balance site coming up February 17th. So let's go ahead and switch it over to the Nike side. According to Soul Retriever, we're now gonna be receiving the Air Jordan 1 Royal, which is gonna be getting the reimagined treatment. Now, I can't keep up with these Jordan rumors and updates. It feels like every day it's something new. First, we were supposed to be getting the black toe reimagined. Now it looks like we're getting the Royal, which I feel like is a much better move. After getting the Lost and Founds last year, why not switch things up with the blue version, a super hyped up classic pair of Jordans, and this time we get the reimagined twist to it. So Nike, cool move, a uh, great way to keep the hype alive for the Jordan 1, and trust me, we're gonna eat this one up just like we did the Lost and Founds. Now to also keep the Nike hype train and momentum going, they're gonna be releasing a film titled Air, the 1980 story about the partnership between Nike and a young Michael Jordan. So Ben Affleck will direct the film and star as Nike co-founder Phil Knight, alongside Matt Damon, who plays Nike executive Sonny Vaccaro. Air follows Vaccaro's chase for Jordan and how it led Nike to dominance by signing the basketball star to the brand. So I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I'm checking for this joint. This is a very interesting story. This film has some big names behind it, so hopefully it should turn out very well. Now, this movie is supposed to be dropping in theaters and then eventually it's gonna see a wider release on Amazon Prime. So I just wanna know, who's gonna be playing Michael Jordan. So it is officially the end of an era for Yeezy as the Yeezy supply domain is no longer active. Now, this move comes as no surprise to fans as the two parties, Yeezy and Adidas, made the split months ago with Yeezy retaining 100% ownership of the imprint and Adidas owning most of the designs made during the period that the two parties were in partnership. So I find the timing of this funny, especially after I just dropped an entire video on the whole Yeezy Supply scam. So rest in peace to Yeezy Supply, a website. If you are a Yeezy collector, you probably have a lot of memories from, probably more bad memories than good memories. So unfortunately, Yeezy Supply, you will not be missed. So recently, Former Adidas brand president, Eric Lidke, sat down with the Complex Sneaker Podcast for an incredible 
in-depth podcast detailing a lot of information about his time over at Adidas, which included some very interesting details about the Yeezy Adidas partnership. So he revealed that when Ye wore the all white Ultra Boost during his Billboard Music Award performance, it was equivalent to the brand's Jordan moment as it signaled to the impact that Ye had on the culture. He also talked about the time that Adidas almost signed Drake, but unfortunately, couldn't get into much details. He also talked about working with the Donda team under Ye and how he worked with people like Virgil, Jerry Lorenzo, Don C, Travis Scott, and could have even potentially signed some of these individuals to the Adidas company, but Kanye at the time was very adamant about being the guy. He also spoke about how Nike went and signed all of these people that were Ye's protégés, which kind of led to the dominance that the brand does now have in the footwear industry. Now, Eric Lickie was also the same guy who attended the now infamous final meeting with Adidas. This was the one that we saw on Kanye's YouTube channel titled War. Now, Eric revealed some details about the meeting, stating that he now regrets being in attendance. He feels like Ye was very disrespectful and now kind of keeps himself at a distance from Ye. So, very interesting podcast. I highly recommend that you guys check it out. A lot of people say that once Eric left Adidas, was kind of the start towards the whole downfall of the brand. And in related news, Adidas is looking to fill the void lost by Yeezy in the Gen Z marketplace. So Wednesday, Adidas has announced that it is launching a new collection of trendy sportswear style clothing targeted at the next generation and modeled by actress Gen Z icon, Jenna Ortega. All right, so Adidas signed the girl from Wednesday. I feel like that's probably a good move. I know my kid, she absolutely loves that show. So maybe, possibly, Adidas could be onto something. What do y'all think? Um, I find it kind of funny though that Adidas signed her. Although she is a seasoned actress, this show literally just came out. So it kind of makes Adidas look almost desperate. Like they're just throwing out deals to anyone. And mind you, this is a deal for an entire you know, brand with Adidas. So super interesting. And I feel like there is a disconnect between Adidas and the sneaker community because although they did sign her and I think this deal could go very well, Adidas could really like tap in with the community. Imagine if they were to give a deal to someone like, just throwing a name out there, but someone like Seth Fowler. I feel like he could probably move just as many units as her or maybe even more. I feel like that's how strong the sneaker community is. So Adidas, if you're watching, you gotta tap in with us, man. But we also gotta show some love to the three stripes because this upcoming Mr. Bailey Osmorphis sneaker definitely flew under my radar. So the London-based designer puts his focus on nature, drawing inspiration from the natural world the Osmorphous shoes are inspired by the life cycle of the jellyfish. So that's cool and all, but I'm really just digging the futuristic vibes of this sneaker. And I feel like these joints look very good. So there's currently a raffle live via the Adidas confirmed act. These joints are gonna be dropping on the 9th and the retail is just $160. So I feel like this is a great looking sneaker with some really cool futuristic vibes for a great retail just at 160. And I can't lie, these new James Harden joints ain't bad at all. So the upcoming pair arrives with silver padded leather uppers that fold backwards towards the heel. A wavy rubber mudguard wraps around the toe and mesh collars are double reinforced at the heel with padded neoprene straps. Elevating the pair is hidden boost cushioning and three striped branding on the back heel attached. So once again, another pair from Adidas that look really good. And I feel like on court, these joints are super fire and they could even be good enough to possibly be a dope lifestyle sneaker off the court as well. So this pair is definitely giving me easy vibes. Let me know what you guys think about this pair as well as all of the topics covered in today's video. So we're gonna wrap things up right here. Salute to each and every one of y'all for tuning in. I'm JA, make sure you guys stay safe, stay blessed, and I'm out y'all, love.